Right, now, fireplace now is basically just a pure uh, appliance. Turn it off right here, and that turns off the fireplace. Oh, with the light switch? Yeah, it's just a switch here. What? Say that one more time. It's oh. basically an appliance. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's an so when you flip that switch on, it ignites it, and there you go, you have fire. Okay. Your mom has this in her house, or she did. Oh, does she? She did, and she never used it. Yeah. What about that uh, hole thing? That stove, you want to put a uh, uh, flat screen TV here. It's a, you oh, plug it in right here, and then this right here is where you put your uh, your uh, cables through. HDMI. And that actually comes out through the side over here. Oh, that's, that's brilliant. Okay. So that way the wires are in the wall and not exposed on the outside. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. Now this part, now this mantle here, this whole thing, it's all solid concrete. This is not wood. That's concrete. That's solid concrete here. Yes. That's pretty neat. So how do, is that pre-made and they just bring it in? Well, yeah, they, they just uh, form the, uh, they have forms there and they just yeah. pop it out of the form. They, they are responsible for everything in the backyard. This is all they get right now is just yeah. that little you walkout. Their, so. He's so happy about that. That's all. Yeah, you get their. Yeah, you have to really, oh, how big, that's what he wanted. Like about how big is this area? Uh, the not, not off the top of my head, no. It looks like he can get a pretty good sized well, garden. Like so they're not putting down a cement slab or anything? No, you just stepped on a cement slab. <laughs> I did. This is it. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's wet? <laughs> no, no. Nothing? And uh, the reason why is because uh, most people tear it out. If, if we put anything different, most people tear it out because they didn't want that. They wanted something different. Oh, so okay. when it comes to things like this, as a builder, we do things uh, uh, minimal. Yeah. Only because we, if we spend yeah. money to put something on there, they're going to take it out and put it what they want on there. Can they? Can they put it? Can they? Can it be wood? Can it? Or, or does it have? Is there well, anything that, that is all through the HOA? I know. And okay. The, the HOA. Well, basically. Um, because they want to put a cover out here as well. Yeah, you can put a cover out here. I mean, most people obviously put covers out here. Most people put the uh, the alumal wood out here just because there's no maintenance involved. Uh, now, being that they're so close to this area here, uh, I'm not sure if there's any special restrictions because I know when I worked out in our Fallbrook community, uh, um, there, there was restrictions on because you're so close to a, uh, a wooded area. Yeah. Uh, there's restrictions on way back here. I noticed this. Uh, As of right now, we do. Um, this culvert here is pretty full from the recent rainstorms. I, yes. Is there a concern of the the mud coming down and filling that up and coming up no, against this a, a wall? No. A lot of here? this is because, as you can see, a lot of tire tracks and stuff right here. This was all dug out, so there was a lot of loose uh, loose dirt, loose sand here that was. Uh, um, well, as you can see, came on down. Um, so someone will come by and clean this yes. out periodically? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah like, now again, we as Cave Indian Homes, we will uh, maintain it for right now until it gets turned over to the HOA. And I, I wish I can give you that date, but uh, I don't even think we know that date. What's the uh, the orange uh, fencing there for? Uh, that's just, I think that's property lines. Oh. The, so the HOA not, owns this part here. And the rest uh, well, is- As of right now, part. we do uh, um, until everything's turned over to the HOA. A lot of times what we do is we'll go ahead and plant uh, uh, natural, you know, uh, natural stuff inside here and to go along with it. And then it'll just go ahead and bloom. And who what's, owns that over there? Yeah, what's beyond State that? California. The state of California, mm -hmm. the Land and Bureau Management. Yeah. So another uh, builder's not gonna come in and put no. houses right there? Not at all. LBM. Yeah, nice. Not at all, this, this, this right here is not what we touch. In fact, I don't even know if it might even be owned by Edison because you got all the power cables coming right. through here. So. Down this way right here, you see the pipe all along that, uh, uh, right there hanging on the, uh, on the yeah. fence line? Yeah. Uh, that pipe, that's actually what they call a rain sensor. When it's raining outside, there's a little hole on the top of there, and if the rain gets inside there, it'll tell your sprinklers that there's no more needed to be watered. It's already been watered enough, so it'll oh, turn off your sprinklers good. automatically. Uh, so it's not, what's this, is the drainage? That's drain? a drain, yeah. So what's, and then nothing's gonna happen they're responsible for this area too. Yes. Yeah, all we do, we just put drains on the side of the home. Okay. We don't put drains in the backyard here. So if he wants to put drains back here, he can tap into that one right there and allow it to bring out to the front. And no sprinklers out there. No sprinklers in the back also, yeah, because well one, again, we, we don't, don't know, know what they're, they're gonna, gonna do. do. Right. But there is an option that he could put sprinklers 
Oh yeah, he can. Oh yeah. So backyard is 48 feet by 25 feet. So gutters are are definitely recommended. Well, that well the water will come down from the roof and hit the ground. It's can see you see about two, yeah. about 18 inches from the uh, uh, from the stucco there on the ground. Yeah. You see there's like an indentation. Yeah, we don't have That's gutters and we have a light colored house and it yeah. It, yeah, the bottom two feet of your home is like yeah. all different color because that uh, that gutter. Oh, without a gutter, yeah, the water comes down, it hits the ground, and then bounces the dirt right back up onto the house. So we've so. got, that's the water, that's the electrical. Oh, two, and what's the, the Yes. Thing? Oh, that's gas. So if you want to put a natural gas barbecue out here, or you can bring that down, you can put a fire pit back here, but there's natural gas already brought back to the backyard. Ooh. That's pretty neat. That, and then this is the whole air conditioning unit. That's the air conditioning unit, yes. That's pretty, uh, pretty big unit there. Oh, and it's kind of right in the... Well, you can maybe Cover build it. up a trellis so on know this side. Gonna build something around it. Yeah. Oh, and what's this over here? Did you get this? That this right the there fuse? is your uh, uh, service disconnect that disconnects all the power to the condenser here. Oh, just for that? Just for the condenser here, yes. Oh, right. oh. Okay. So you can lock that up. Okay. Yes. We've got uh, this. This is also for the sprinkler system. Yeah, that's well, another that's just same a drainage. thing. That's it's a drainage. drain, just like on the other side, right? Yeah. Okay. And what's that? That is exactly what it says. It's an inspector's test for your fire sprinklers. Oh. What that's there for is that if you turn, you don't hook a hose to that at all. Yeah. What you do is, you, if you want, you can turn the water on right there. Uh -huh. It'll simulate that the water from your sprinklers are going off on the interior of the home, uh -huh. and within about 35 to uh, uh, 60 seconds the bell on the outside of your house will start to ring, the fire bell. Oh, so it's it doesn't actually bell. drop the sprinklers down no, in there. No, it just, it's, it's, it's just testing it, the bell. It, exactly. Got it. So anyone ever neat. asks, you know, how do you test to make sure your sprinklers are working properly? That's the only way to do it. What and do you put here? Nothing? You just turn nothing. it on? You just on. turn it on and then the water just starts shooting out. And so you can do that yourself? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, now the fire marshal has already done it, and that's the only reason why you guys are here today, because he allowed it. Got it. In line. And the reason why I say secondary is because inside the, uh, underneath the master bathroom sink okay. is your primary uh, condensation line, which means when you turn your air conditioner on, it creates condensation in the attic. Uh -huh. Then that attic, uh, what happens is it drains into a pan and then it'll drain through the natural course of the plumbing through the primary. Now if that primary gets clogged, water will start to drip from here. And when it starts dripping here, it's just basically an indicator saying, hey, I need to be serviced. And uh, that's gonna happen. Uh, um, but it's not end, going all the way through. No, it's not. Uh, now the warranty for the stucco cracks is actually 10 years from the close of escrow of the home. Okay. So they have until, so they close the escrow in February in 2015. They have until February 2025 for stucco cracks. But in the book, it also states how wide the stucco cracks have, have to be, be, which is about an eighth of an inch. Oh, oh okay. and that's nowhere near. Nowhere what is, near. what is this pipe? That is a clean out. That's so this one right here is actually connected to the toilet. master bathroom uh, toilet. There's okay. one like that on the other side. Okay. Yeah. So there's another door over here? Yeah, that's the one from your garage. Yeah. Oh. Vent from the water heater. So this is, what is this again? This one down here? That one right there is the uh, uh, pressure relief valve for your water heater. If your water heater ever gains too much pressure, it will relieve itself right there. Got it. And so that way it won't blow up. That's what? The vent for the water heater. So when it's heating oh. the water, the heated uh, vent comes right out there. Yeah, it doesn't go up through the uh, through the ceiling. Here, they got to keep the uh, the shape. Is that recommended? Oh uh, well, right now it's got a natural grade to it, which basically means that if it's uh, 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 if it rains outside, it will naturally allow that water to drain all the way out, okay. or at least drain to the uh, to the drain that we already put in. Uh, but if they put anything on the side of the home, whether it be bark or anything, they can flatten it out. They just have to make sure that there's enough drainage there. To okay. Do it. Where do they keep the uh, the cans here for the disposal? Right okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. From the from the sidewalk or from the uh, driveway here, they'll put a, like a walkway here because this is this is your your gate right here. So this is where you would normally put your like again your can trash can right. or something like that is oh, over right. here. So they're gonna have to find find somebody to contract to. Put that in yes. here, concrete? Yes. 
They can probably uh, get that through the four seasons. Uh, yeah, either that or a lot of times uh, word of mouth. That's definitely something they're going to want to do. That's your breaker box. Yeah. So if they put a walkway, what happens to that? Do they have to divert it or does that just go through? No, the through drain's the... still there. So what they do is the walkway right here, instead of having a drain cap that's up right here, they'll just put a flat drain cap. Just okay. like on the bottom. Yeah, it'll just right. be level with the, uh, with the ground. Okay. That's just the cap from the gas meter. Oh. Trash. Got it. So that's the electrical box. It's the electrical box and you can see everything's already labeled for you so you know which one's controlled by what. Uh, so if you come in here, this right here is the test yeah, button. So yeah. you press that. And you can see right here it has some movement there. You want to go off and then back to the on position. Now it's solid. Ready to go. Communication, aka telephone. Television. So this is where they would connect their telephone and television right here. Nice. Now, when we go into the inside of the house. What do you mean connect? Like the city, do they? Are they uh, if they get Verizon or Time Warner, they wherever they connect, here. this is where they will get they connect to is inside here. Where they they're gonna bring wires to it? Yeah. Okay. Where will those wires come from? Well, there's already a there's conduit already, inside. Already, the whole house is already hardwired. Yeah, the, hard, okay. the the whole house is already wired. Underneath here, there's actually two conduit wires or two conduits okay. already there. One has like a yellow rope in it. Okay. And that yellow rope is brought all the way out to, you got a cable box, a couple doors down, that little uh, uh, yep. ground Green. thing. And then uh, uh, I think actually in your yard, there's a uh, um, Verizon box right there for the telephone. Okay. That flat thing that's yeah. in the, the whatever it's called. Yeah, that's gonna be the Verizon thing. Out so the basically yeah, all so they basically do is- Basically they don't even have to go in the house to hook them up. No, I'll show you that when we go in there would cost uh, to, to get somebody to put in like a concrete? There's so many different costs on there, whether it be they want stamped concrete, regular concrete, colored concrete. What, what would be the cheapest way to get a concrete wall, walk? Well, How much would that? Something like this, just a regular gray concrete. How much no do you think color, we're no talking? Color. Is it? Um, for a walkway right here, it depends on how far back. Um, I, yeah, I'd say probably close to a thousand. Okay, yeah. City transformer. Well, since we're already outside, we'll just I'll tell you the. Uh, <laughs> we, right, well, we went in the backyard instead of going to the uh, to the master. I know we still have to see the master. So the property line goes to here, right? Right behind you is the marker. So that property line marker. So from that oh, marker there, that. there, straight to that four by four post, yeah, is going to be the property line. And that's theirs. Yes. So if you think of this hill right here where it yeah, comes up, the peak of the hill. goes straight down. Those are gonna be for the front of the home. Now the main water is underneath there so they can tap into it and run the water all the way to the backyard or the sprinklers in the backyard. Which aren't there. Which are not there, no. Got it. This right here is where Shut you up. turn your sprinklers off, the uh, uh, water sprinklers for your landscape. Uh, one's taped in red, one's taped in white. Um, the red one is going to be just for your fire sprinklers and fire sprinklers alone. Okay. So that's where you turn off the water to your fire sprinklers. The white is going to be everything other than fire sprinklers. So that'll turn off your landscape as well as the interior of the house. Got it. That's where it shows how much water we've used on this whole property. So how it is, you got one line coming in and it splits in two. Fire, everything, everything else. else. Yeah. Now the everything else now splits in two again, sprinklers. which splits the sprinklers and the interior of the home. Yeah. That's how it's basically set up when it comes to these. That's the end of the drain line. The city of Beaumont does not allow us to core the curb. So all the water from the backyard goes into the drain. Yeah. It comes down right here, and then from right here, it spills out. It spills up and out? Yeah. Yes. It do, they don't allow us to come over here and core the curb. Why? Right. That's a city thing. So yep. The, uh, the master bathroom, that's the main sewer clean out. So if, uh, if nothing is draining on the inside of the house, toilets, tubs, yeah. sinks, this is where they'll need access to. Because everything for your whole house comes into this pipe here, and then from this pipe, it goes out to the street. Yeah. In there, so you got a lamp plug inside here as well. A lot of people put like a hutch there, and this is where they'll turn the light on for their hutch and things. Too. And then this one right here is going to be the light for the chin. Look at all the in there. And then you also have that third light, uh, that other one, which is going to be the half pot. Pretty amazing view. Oh, should I have taken my shoes off? Oh, I, I just, only because we were outside, I just took it off anyway. It's, it's fine. 
I, I saw you guys walking. I didn't see anything, but no, oh, well, we're, fine. Have we're fine. We're okay. fine. Right. <laughs> if there's a footprint in here, that's your fault. But you got the half hot over here for your lamp, and on this side over here, you got the telephone jack, and then you got the cable outlet right behind you as well. Okay. So only one of these plugs is hardwired. Wow, this is gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, they went nice in there. Yes. That makes all the difference. It does. So they could put a ceiling fan in here. Mm -hmm. Now there's only one control for the heat, everything in the whole house oh, in the kitchen. Oh, <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, and then. Wow, oh my god, and look at the top. Here. Oh my god. <gasps> oh. That's bedroom three. <laughs> no doubt, right? Oh my god. It's is that so attic access? Is there anything up there? That's your attic access. That's where your uh, forced air unit or FAU is located at. Okay. Your heater is up there. Yes, I'm going to come take Any storage store. room up there? Not really. I mean, yes, you can put storage up there, but uh, um, all your electrical lines, all your pipe, all your water lines are all up there as well. So um, if they do put storage up there, very, very careful. Yeah. Now there is a platform up there. That's where it holds the uh, the forced air unit and your, your heater and everything. That's where it's all located. And it's up in the attic. So. Oh, so the furnace furnace is up in the attic. Yes. Wow, that's pretty neat. Just, it actually distributes throughout the wall now. So this so is kind of like the manifold. So the cable guy would need to get to that. Yes. As well. Yes. To so catch that. Okay. So. We're in inside. The closet. That don't put a lot of crap around that access area. That needs to be. Accessible. Right. So if you're gonna you put your, uh, if you're gonna put cabinets in here or anything like that, then you want to make sure that that's still accessible. Oh, and there's a plug on either side. Lock on the, the door. Key for the door. The oh. master bathroom door. Oh yeah. As well as even the master bedroom door. So yeah, that's there was the one of these key. keys. Yeah. That's your primary condensation line. So again, when you are using your um, air conditioner for the whole house, for the whole house, yeah. the air conditioner creates condensation. That condensation then will drain into the natural course of the plumbing, which is going to be right there. Got it. Uh, now on this side over here, you yeah. see that uh, uh, that area right there. That is a uh, what they call an anti-scalding device. Oh. Um, and what that's there for is it just controls your master tub and your tub alone. Just the red and blue thing? Yes. And it controls that? Well, consider it like a, uh, what they call like a, a mixer valve. Yeah. So you have the cold water coming in here and the hot water coming in as well. You don't and ever it, have to do anything to it? It just... No, what, what you can do is say for example this, sorry, let me walk right there. Mm -hmm. You turn on the hot water here and it's going to come out 120 degrees from the, uh, from the... Uh, um, With no delay. Well, no, it's still there. There is some sort of delay coming through. Okay. But once the hot water comes here, you're getting it as hot as it can come. Okay. Now, what that's there for is, say, for example, there's little kids, or if uh, they don't have really good feeling in their legs, so they go and step in there and it's really hot, but they don't realize it, so they sit down and they, now, now their legs are all burnt. Yeah. This under here, you can actually control how hot the water will ever come out out of this tub. And how do you control that? Uh, well, the screw there. You unscrew yes. it a little bit, yeah. and then that, then you can actually turn left and right, and that'll actually control how hot or how cold the water will ever come so out. So this thing turns. Yes. And that in itself turns it like that would turn it colder. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when they come out here, they can set up an orientation with Marco. Exactly. Okay. It's important if you put a concrete patio back here that you don't have it cover this weep screen here you need to leave room and he's he, what would you say his role is what is he uh well he's the owner of uh triple eight landscape so eight 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 owner landscaping of triple a eight uh, eight 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 landscaping and his number is nine five one mm -hmm. two eight five okay six five four five so to have a consult with him or whatever, just yeah. to me, is there a cost yeah. or a fee? No. No. He needs to talk with him so Mimo, when they, they come out, yeah. they, he can help them design the whole, whole backyard. That's 